Hello, this is Samsa again, and welcome to Diaspora Shattered Armistice. So, um, some background for this game. I picked up a new microphone, and hopefully that's actually, you can actually hear that. And, um, uh, I naturally wanted to test this game proper, uh, well, this microphone properly before, like, starting to do, like, uh, various other gameplay, well, let's play series that I already have like going. So I decided to start a new let's play just so that I don't lose any material in case everything goes horribly wrong and I think this game is a very nice way to test this mic uh, but of course this is going to be a full let's play and yeah you know the usual thing. But anyway welcome to Diaspora Shattered Armistice. This is a Battlestar Galactica fan game that is based on the open source Free Space 2 engine. Uh, this game is completely free, by the way, so uh, hopefully I will remember to put the link for this project down into the, uh, down into the description so that you can actually go and, you know, download this game for yourself if you want to. And um, this game is actually quite awesome. Uh, it's quite short though, so it's, it's not particularly long, but considering it's free, it's actually quite good. And uh, I've, I've wanted to make a Let's Play thing out of this. Because it's, you know, it's it's a short game, it's quite simple. But especially now that I have this new microphone, I definitely decided that this would be a good time to play this game. So yes, this is based on Free Space 2. However, it's basically a total conversion. So it basically turns everything into Battlestar Galactica. Um, if you are a fan of Battlestar Galactica, I imagine you will have some fun here. But if you're not, well... Uh, I, I think you will still enjoy this quite a bit. The game actually does explain the premise of Battlestar Galactica uh, quite well, so uh, you don't really need to have seen the show. But I do I do still recommend that you watch the TV series because it's it's a nice it's a nice TV series. It's one of the like in my opinion one of the best. Um, so yeah, I have set this game up so that it should now run quite well. The game has like a whole ton of various kinds of keys. And I should hopefully have this bound properly so that I can actually play the game. I have played through this game like maybe four or five times already. That It's that short. <laughs> and yeah, I have reset my campaign progress. So let's jump into the game and become some awesome Viper pilots. So yeah, let's, let's see how this goes. Welcome, pilots. We've been selected to participate in the Command Network Program Trial Runs. According to the brass, this is a new operating system that will be used in the central computers of our birds and tied to the navigation and comm systems of all our cap ships and stations. The CMP provides what they call a unified command and control framework and is supposed to help increase efficiency throughout the fleet. Of course, we've all heard the rumors. The CMP is supposed to turn a rook or nugget into an ace. We've been given the honor of putting that to the test over the next few weeks. You have been selected because you represent our top pilots. I'll address the rooks later. Your feedback on the auto-assist systems developed for the CMP will be critical in how it will be deployed in the fleet. For those of you volunteering for these tests, you'll be getting double pay. But I know that Shorely von Vergon is at the front of most of your minds before we ship out. I know some of you, like uh, Obit, 
owe a few too many cubits on Palace, so I suggest you take this opportunity to move your finances out of the red and into the black. Those who have decided to take part in these tests meet in the briefing room in 10 minutes. That is all. Okay, so uh, the CNP actually is a quite important part of the BSG universe, but I'm not going to uh, spoil that too much. In any case, this is basically going to take us into the tutorial. Um, I'm actually going to skip it. The Battlestar Theseus is taking part in the Command Network Program Test Trials. You are to follow instructions and familiarize yourself with the CNP interface for your Mark 7 Viper. We will be monitoring your performance with the CNP and gauging it against your standard combat performance. Your reaction time in standard maneuvers and targeting protocols will provide key data the brass needs in order to decide whether or not to implement the CNP. Don't flub this, we need honest assessments. But if you get bright ideas and start throwing off your performance because you don't want to see the CNP used, just remember, you're going to end up as a little outlier that the eggheads will ignore. Keep in mind, pilots, the brass is likely going to implement the CNP, regardless of our recommendations. So, use this as an opportunity to familiarize yourself with how our birds are going to be flying from now on. Well, that's, uh, yeah, I'm going to play all of these briefings, but I am not actually going to do the training itself. Uh, the reason is because the game actually wants me to bind even more keys so that I can complete the training and I just find that very annoying. So I'm just in instead going to skip all of the training and I'll basically the first gameplay that you're going to see is the real thing. But I'll, I'll let these briefings play out anyway. Alright pilots, this is the part of the exercises you've all been waiting for. We've noticed that some of the comments by the text behind the CNP have gotten on your nerves. I believe the one about a nugget and a CNP equipped Viper being better than any of Theseus' pilots was the worst. I've suggested that we put this to the test in the next round of simulations. We're going to put several nuggets through a series of tests, and we'll then play the exact same tests for you in a non-CNP Viper. We're counting on you as a skilled pilot to defend Theseus' honor here. Today's trials will compare your performance in a non-CNP Viper to our nuggets in CNP-enabled ones. Tests will range from assessing basic skills like targeting and gaining a missile lock to a full-scale combat trial against multiple opponents. We will then have you against one of the nuggets in a dogfight to decide if the text claims really are true. Show us your best performance out there. Dismissed. Well, I certainly won't. But, uh, yeah, that's, I, I think that's the briefing for that, but yes, I'm also going to skip the combat training. So instead, let's see what happens after all of this CNP training.
Okay, uh, let's go. So yes. So welcome to the second human Cylon war. Let's go kill some of these Cylons or they will blow up Theseus and then we are pretty much screwed. So basically, we as a viper, we need to take care of these this toasters or Cylon Raiders. Someone is behind me. Let's see if I can blow these guys up. Whoa. Yeah, I'll try, I'll try. I'll definitely try to stay alive, but no promises. So the, the Theseus is actually going to handle most of the actual like anti-capital ship fighting. So uh, for example there's that uh, huge amount of flak there that should hopefully protect the Theseus from like nuclear missiles. But we'll just have to keep the raiders away. So those guys might actually go through, but we need to be really careful. But yeah, the, especially the flak is quite annoying because it also does damage to us, so we definitely want to stay away. So if we can, we'll fight these raiders outside of the, uh, like the uh, firing solution. I'm helping you. Don't worry. These ships are firing a second volley of nuclear warheads. Protect the Theseus. Uh, the Theseus can actually handle itself. So, n my contribution is not required here. But I will definitely try to keep these guys off of you. So the the. Targeting reticle is actually quite interesting, but it's also a little bit difficult to use. So my aiming might be uh, quite terrible, especially if you are like more more experienced at this. So don't you don't you guys worry. I think I should be able to kill some of these guys. I'm actually going to uh, activate my. Okay, now I should have all the primary guns enabled. So I toggled my additional uh, machine gun or cannon or whatever it, this this thing is. I just call it machine gun. Okay, let's go after this guy. I think we have some vipers here, so we shouldn't be at least completely alone. We definitely don't want to be completely alone. If we are, it can be really tricky to actually, you know get out of a tough situation. The game isn't particularly easy. Also I have it set up on a slightly di more difficult uh, difficulty because the game... On easy the game actually auto aims and I don't really like that too much. Okay, I think this guy is kind of after me. Nope. Actually he was targeting something else or it was targeting something else. Under Understood. Where's the... Okay. Too many of the we need additional support. I'll stay relatively close to the Theseus. Okay, that's 2,000... Oh, that's... Yep, that's, that's close enough. Let's go for that. So we can also do this. So basically... Oh. It, some here. Someone is really really keen on killing me 
So let's address this problem first before we go hunting for anyone else. Damn it. Damn it! I can't get a lock. Well, you should be happy because you at least Ah. Okay, let's turn. There we go. Okay, I want to get out of here. Let's boost our way just closer to the Theseus. Okay, someone really wants to kill me. Okay, that guy is coming after me, so we need to turn and fight. Okay, we have multiple on our tails. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, tail. Okay, uh, this guy is not going to last long. It's like that. But they're getting annoyingly close. There we go. Oh. Okay, they apparently are trying with the missiles now. Okay. Uh, forty-six percent hull, and yeah, these these ships don't have any shields, by the way. Like, Battlestar Galactica Universe doesn't know shields. We have been unable to establish contact with any fleet assets. We do not know the extent of the attack at this time. Okay, I need to. Okay. Uh. Okay. Two, Twenty-two percent. We really 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 need to be careful now okay someone is targeting me um, I'll take some cover behind Theseus thank god it was actually getting a little bit tough Really, we're being overwhelmed? I didn't really notice. All fighters, prepare for combat landing. Catch, commencing jump in 90 seconds. All fighters, return to the Theseus immediately. You heard the lieutenant. Return to the Theseus ASAP or you will be left behind. A fourth Cylon base star has jumped in. Walker 814, Theseus. Approach going to the bombing bay. Hands on, speed 90. I'll try to get, like, one more and then... Then let's head home. If I could aim, that would be awesome. I think I'll get this one. Yep. There we go. Uh, nope. How about no? I'll just. What I'll do is I'll head to into the landing bay. There we go. Okay, let's get out of here. Stop, stop. There we go. Skids down, back lock secure. Welcome home. The armistice has ended. We are now once again at a state of war with the Cylons. The strength and number of the enemy force is unknown, and we have as yet been unable to establish contact with either the 34th Battlestar Group or the Colonial Fleet. We must assume the worst, an all-out assault on our home worlds. The Cylons have been able to track our jump destinations. How this is possible is unknown. The intensity of the attacks has decreased. At present we are being followed by a single base ship. All wings are to remain on alert status with squadrons taking shifts on cap. Orange and green squadrons have been on station for the past 20 minutes. They will be relieved by yellow squadron in 30. Our first priority is survival. I can get behind that goal.